Welcome back to the shop. Um, trying to get a little bit of cleanup done around here. It's always pretty messy. Um, I've got an event coming up this weekend, so I had a knife I needed to clean up. Get it all kind of shine back up, hold down, you know. It's kind of maintenance stuff on these. Uh, of course, everybody knows these are 1095. Um, that's that uh, shark bite acrylic. Cameron can pick that up pretty good now. Um, I think that knife looks pretty good for, you know, what it is. It's got, of course, some red, some blue, some black. Uh, it's all mixed together. I think I, it was supposed to be like, uh, ocean and the blood in the ocean from a shark bite or a shark attack. I think it looks pretty good. Just doing some kind of clean up on it. Kind of know how it works. Um, kind of clean up the bolsters, <laughs> the pins. Cleaning up here and there, just doing ons and ends. It has a sheath, you know. Um, I do hand make these, hand make the sheath, the knife, uh, the whole nine yards. All right, so that's all I wanted to get done with that. And uh, today I finally got a little bit of time to work at the shop. It's been a while since I posted anything. Uh, so, I'm kind of getting, kind of getting everything going again. Of course, you know, you got to have some strawberry lemonade Powerade because it's uh, 85 degrees right now. The humidity makes it a lot hotter than that. Uh, I haven't really looked to see what the humidity actually is. Or if it has a feels like or it feels like 86 I don't know if I can get y'all in here to look at that so 84 feels like 86 no chance of rain that right there is what worries me 35% chance in 6 days uh, there's just a real light wind blowing the UV index is pretty rough and see 24 miles and 42 percent humidity of course that's that's uh quite a bit uh, worse than yeah you know, it's been pretty dry here in my area we need the rain bad very bad. So I kind of wanted to go. I've got some projects or some thoughts uh, I'm going to do at this event. And uh, they involve that little 
orange tag right here. So y'all know, most of y'all, if y'all are farmers, have been around farms or anything like that, y'all know what this is. I don't have to explain it to you. Um, it's just an old one. Um, this is a cow tag. Um, and what I'm gonna be doing, I thought I had one over here. What I'm gonna be doing is cutting some of these out. Um, and making it to where, you know, I can put, I've got some Western stamps, um, it's a horse, bull, and a guy riding a horse. Uh, I've been buying these at Hobby Lobby. Um, pretty decent set of stamps. I think you can get the same ones on Amazon. All the stamp sets, well, that one's $7.99. That one's eight, $8.99. It comes with one more small, uh, I don't know what you call it, half crescent. Um, then this set does, because it just comes with the deer, the bear, the fish. And uh, so we'll be doing those. Um, with probably some initials um, pretty easy stuff uh, be getting into that a little bit maybe sell some of those uh, hopefully it'll be kind of one of those days that it's supposed to be like 90 I hope it's not 90, but it's supposed to be 90. And, uh, of course, there's a lot of people signed up for that event. But if it's as hot as it is, I don't, I don't see. Sorry, I keep it going. I don't see a whole lot of people coming to that just because it's, it's going to be 90 degrees. And, where it's at is there's no trees there's no nothing like that and so hopefully hopefully fingers crossed it'll be a little bit cooler that day let me find the good side set a little bit of this stuff out of the way and that way I'm not knocking everything over piece this big it's kind of hard to do anything with you know that's just my hand right there and uh, you know that's not all of it not all of it's in the frame so, so I'm gonna try my best my little best to draw some of these out Got some key rings. And then that way I'll put some pretty cool stuff on there. Hopefully. There's one. Draw it out. So I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Let's see. If we can get y'all in here. So there's one kind of draw it out.
Gotta find my. I bought some leather scissors. Tell you what, that's a pretty good investment. The only thing is, is it can't do uh, real, real sharp turns. That's the only bad part about these, about these scissors. But hopefully, Get a few of these cut today. It'll pretty much be like some of the ones that I carry on my uh, key fob or my keys. Uh, that's the goal. That's the goal. So I got this uh, I don't know if you want to call it Dreamer or edging tool it kind of evens all the edges out it's a hard edge off Makes it just a little bit more uniform. And there we go. Works out. And then what I'm gonna do now is so I found something. If y'all go and shop at Walmart, the next time y'all go, over in like the hand tools part. I have found these things with a hole puncher and all. Um, so, these are, I think uh, they're, they were called shoelace grommets, maybe. But they're made for like shoelaces. So, what I'm gonna do Drop 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little hole right here. Just to kind of get me started. And then what I'm going to do I don't know if this is the right way to do it or not. It didn't come with instructions. Just as a side note, you guys, uh, this was the wrong way to do this. Um, I later punched these out with so a this is just what I'm going by. Um, leather punch. Um, so don't do this with these. Um, this is just for the flaring part of it. And uh, I didn't discover that until, well, the next one I done was um, with a punch. So this was completely wrong, by the way. See how easy that was just to put a hole in? Probably using these the completely wrong way that they were supposed to be made. Probably more than likely, a hundred percent more. It's kind of what I'm gathering. I should probably just figure out what size hole that is. See how that was, that one's through there now. So, what I take it as, put it in there and you squeeze it. So there's it. Well, I'm kind of ready. I got, I'm going to do some sanding on the edges, burnishing, stuff like that. And, uh, just kind of spruce it up a little bit. And then that way, somebody wants one, I could do them one on here. And, And then that'll be good. Alright. How close are we? Pretty doggone close. So, we'll see how that works out. Uh, I'll kind of give y'all a finished product sometime. So I got these uh, split rings. I so I got them at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, that's one Caltag keychain 
down. Looks like I got, how many does it say? Ten more to go. Well, nine more now. We're going to try that and see how that works out. Uh, that's just kind of a simple little project. The shop, kind of in disarray. Uh, kind of been cleaning out, cleaning up, working on it. Got me a, a little refrigerator in here now. I keep my drinks cold. Uh, kind of crammed all that stuff together. Um, of course, drill press, grinder, um, vice, all that stuff's kind of still there. Um, just been. Uh, taking vacations and doing among other things you know summertime right around it's here um, you have to keep your yard cut around here people look at you sideways when you ride by if you don't uh, I'm still got my project of that ready to go uh, and I've been working on this project I don't know if y'all can tell it or not. I'm working on this one, trying to get it done. If anybody knows anything about how to make a gut hook end on one of these, hey, email me or something. Leave a comment because I've got it in there, but I don't know how well that's going to sharpen out. Uh, my plan for this one is just to take this A on up here a little bit more. Uh, the plan with this one is to take it on up to here to where this uh, hole is. Because uh, file work in a knife like this is, it's harder than what you think it is. I didn't even realize that I'd burnt the tip on that thing. But that's okay, I've not heat treated or nothing it's still in that phase I'm gonna try to get some work on that done here pretty soon and uh, yeah I appreciate y'all watching if uh, you don't care uh, to leave a like and a comment um, that would help me out greatly uh, like I said this isn't a finished product but that's kind of going to be what it is. Um, I'm probably going to try to find, I've got, um, some of these things, you know, a uh, hollow punch set. So I'm probably going to try to find a punch for that. And then that way I don't have to worry about Nothing else. I think maybe this one right here will work. I think it's one I used before. Um, yeah, maybe. I'm going to try to make a bunch of these and see. I'm going to clean them up a little bit and see how that works out. I'll come back whenever this project's kind of wrapped up. Alright, guys. So right there is kind of the final product Let's see and what will happen with those is I'll make and take and dye these put uh, some kind of figure on here and then maybe initials uh, of course I'll burnish the edges real nice and uh, that'll kind of be a, a finished product. But uh, yeah, that's a uh, cow tag. Will be a cow tag keychain. It's pretty doggone close. They get to kind of 
general idea of what that's going to be. That's how those things wound up being. I did use a punch. Uh, it looks to be like an eight, maybe. A three millimeter. I think it's a three. Kind of looks like an eight. But I bet it's a three. Three millimeter punch. It punches the holes pretty good. I got some different ones. I got the copper look. I got um, silver. Nice and gold in here. All right, everybody. Well, I appreciate you tuning in and looking at this here little project. Y'all have a good day. God bless. Remember, live life outdoors.